person, I've always been big on education. And I was irritated. I was disappointed when my mother couldn't finance me going to the university in 96. I was so disappointed. Sought for sponsorship here and there from a few friends, not friends, um, relatives and others. Uh, there was one in the pipeline, but it didn't materialize. And I couldn't help but start working. So back then, that was in 97 eventually, my girlfriend at the time, currently my wife, told me she, she saw um, an advert in the newspaper that was when those days newspaper was newspaper. Now you can't even see newspaper again. So she saw an advert in the newspaper and TV3 were looking for um, presenters, entertainment presenters. And she, she, she saw it, said, hey, Van, Charlie, go and drive. I mean, you can speak, you are fine, go and drive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went, I got the job, I moved on. You know, so, and it brings me back to my education. I've always been big on it. So no matter the number of years, 20 years later, I went back. But more importantly, not just to get the education, but I believe in the extra skills that one can have and employ when necessary. You will see, I mean, no one is indispensable, totally not. But you realize that you are quite indispensable. Because you've got lots of things, lots of capabilities and skills 